Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to walk through harvesting another round of radishes. And the reason I want to share this with you is because at the end of my harvesting and succession sowing radishes video, I had like several radishes that didn't really develop big bulbs and they were kind of like stringy and wimpy and really not impressive, not what you would want. Um, and I had tried um, to loosen the soil to see if that would help improve the bulb formation. And I wanna test that theory. And I also have been doing a little more research and I have other ideas because I suspect I'm gonna get bad news when I pull up these eight radishes. So let's get into it. And then I'm gonna succession sow again and try something different. These were planted, I didn't update the date. They were planted on November 1st. Today is December 8th, so I let them go a little bit longer trying to see if they would form bulbs, but I think I just got a whole bunch of duds. Womp womp. Yep, okay. Dud. But don't worry, the radish leaves are actually really good if you saute them. Oh, another dud. Oh, we got something. Ooh, it's so little. I mean, it's not even the size of my thumbnail. This one's a little better, a little longer. This is the Easter egg blend from Botanical Interest. So they're not all meant to be perfectly round. Some of them are supposed to be elongated. Um, all right, so that was basically a waste of a month. But what I like about radishes is that they're so fast, like their, um, germ their maturity, like from seed to harvest, it's 30 days. And I, like as a new gardener, I really like that because it gives me, um, during one growing season, I can try several different things and try to master like growing that plant. Um, so I'm gonna put a link in the description box to a video that I watched that I think had um, like really interesting information about how to grow a radish better, actually form bulbs. Um, and his video was like so appealing to me because it just had like just this beautiful array of like perfectly round radishes. Um, so I'm gonna trust him and take his word on it. And what he said was, there's, there's a few things to do. Um, number one, properly spacing your radish seeds. If you p plant them too close together, they just don't even have the room to form a bulb and they won't do it. So I have half a square foot right here. I'm gonna plant eight, which should be plenty of room based on you know, just the research I've been doing about it. The next thing is to thin it quickly. And I think this actually makes sense because it's along the same lines of making sure that your plants are spaced properly. Um, so basically, once you see multiple sprouts, you need to be pinching them off and make sure you're narrowing down to only one sprout as soon as possible. And that'll increase your odds of actually getting a bulb because there's nothing telling your radish that it doesn't have space. The third thing is planting a variety that is meant for you and your area. So I'm in Central Florida in zone 9B. The variety I had been working with um, earlier this season was the Botanical Interest Easter Egg blend. Um, and after I did some more research on radishes, the University of Florida's website, um, they actually recommend a cherry bell variety. So I went on Amazon, bought cherry bell seeds from Ohio Heirloom Seeds. Um, so I'm going to try this. I think that should help. The last thing that he recommended that I'm not sure I believe <laughs> is he said, do not fertilize your radishes. And Honestly, I just don't know why. Like, why would that bother? Like, to me, that's just more nutrients and it would just jumpstart your radish. Why would that be something that I shouldn't do? So I have been actually putting um, the Fox Farm soil feeding schedule all throughout this. Um, it's liquid fertilizer all throughout this raised bed. This is a long 21 foot long raised bed. Um, so I'm just going to continue doing that for my other plants that seem to be happy with it. 
but I'm going to skip this square when I do the fertilizing. Um, so today's December 8th. We're gonna sow these seeds and in about 30 days, I should have some nice shoulders coming up, some nice bulbs. Hit that subscribe button, that like button, and follow along to see. Also, if you have any tips about how to grow radishes, like something that worked for you after you were trying to do exactly what I'm trying to do, like figure out how to grow a real root veggie with a bulb, don't hesitate to put a comment. I wanna know, I want you guys to help me, and maybe my experiments will help you in some way. So to me, that looks pretty evenly spaced. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got a handful of seeds. It's probably not the best way to do this. One, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. Gonna cover those holes. All right, there we go. Here I am, December 11th. It's day three after sowing radish seeds and I see the seedlings popping up finally. So I'm gonna go ahead and thin them as much as I can down to just one radish per spot. The goal is that I can do the thinning quickly to make sure I get those nice bulbs. Hi, I see there's two right here. Pinch one off. There's a pile of them right here. Okay. Okay. Oh. Gosh. What is that? Mason. Hey guys, today is January 29th. It's been six weeks since I sowed the seeds for these radishes with those tips. Today is the day we're gonna harvest and see the results. I gotta say, I can see the shoulders and they're looking really good. You can see a shoulder there and there. So let's get into it and see the results. So I actually didn't even end up fertilizing the rest of the bed at all. I just got a little lazy about fertilizing. Um, so there was no fertilizer done at all. Very little watering. I think I was targeting twice a week, um, except I will say the last couple of weeks we had so much rain. So. I controlled it as best I could with my own watering, but I obviously can't control the rain. Um, let's see what they look like. Small. Better. Oh, this one looks like it's split. That splitting is from overwatering. I think that's probably caused by the, all the rain we got. So I think um, this is by far the best radish harvest I've ever had, although it still looks like I've got some work to do. These were duds. Maybe I need to do it again with only um, like six per square foot, um, just to see if that helps. I'll keep trying, but so far I'm happy with the progress. I'm gonna go ahead and sow some more seeds. This time I think I'm only gonna drop one per hole and not even bother to thin because I had such a great germination rate. Maybe that'll help. And maybe we're not gonna get so much rain in the next month. If you like watching me try to figure out how to grow some nice bulbing radishes, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and I'll catch you next time. I'll keep trying, so keep watching.